Unlocking the mystery. Understanding, bow lift. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic on our hands. We are going to demystify the phrase, bow lift. This might be a new phrase for many of you, and that's exactly why we're here, to help you understand and use English phrases confidently. So, without further ado, let's dive in. First, let's break the phrase into two parts, bow and lift. Bow can have several meanings. It might refer to the front part of a ship or boat. It can also be a verb that means to bend forward at the waist, as a sign of respect or greeting. Additionally, bow can refer to a tied ribbon or the tool used to play string instruments. Lift is a verb that means to raise or elevate something. So, what does the phrase bow lift mean when these words come together? Let's find out in the next section. The phrase Bow lift can be a bit tricky because its meaning depends on the context. Here are a few scenarios to help illustrate its use. Scenario 1. In boating. In a boating context, bow lift refers to the upward force that raises the bow, front part, of the boat out of the water. This can happen when a boat gains speed, and it's essential for reducing drag and improving the boat's performance. Scenario 2. In music. When talking about playing a string instrument like a violin, a bow lift refers to the action of lifting the bow off the strings and then placing it back at a new starting point to continue playing. Scenario 3. In exercise. In fitness, a bow lift could refer to a specific exercise where an individual lifts their torso and legs simultaneously while lying on their stomach resembling the shape of a bow. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at the phrase, bow lift. We've seen how its meaning changes based on the context, from boating and music to exercise. Remember, understanding the context is key to grasping the full meaning of phrases like this one. We hope this video has shed light on, bow lift, and that you feel more confident in using it. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.